so more than likely, I don't know, I don't hear any buzzing of the contactor. Oh, I do actually hear it. So that means we've got low voltage, contactors pulling in. Potentially don't have any high. So there's our low voltage coming in. There's our high voltage. Go ahead and grab our meter. and check our voltage first. Two forty four. Twenty four. The contactor. Now what we're going to do, got 244 going in, let's see what's coming out. Nothing. So I venture to say this contact is just extremely pitted. We got 240 coming in, nothing coming out. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull that disconnect real quick. And we're gonna go, we're gonna just take a look and see exactly what's causing that. Okay. We're gonna let's just see the damage. A lot of times insects and things get they, they bury, burrow up in these contactors. I'm not sure if it's just the warmth or something to do with that field. But they definitely seem to appreciate it. See, you can see it there. Not trying to focus, is it? It's an insect that got smashed, smashed into the contactor. So yeah, go ahead and get this thing replaced, and uh, see if this thing wants to start up. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and swap this thing out. Got a new. One and a half pole here. So we've got the shunt on one side, contact on this side. Uh, like I say, we'll see if it's going to go. Whatever. What I like to do, I just like to do one termination at a time when replacing these. Just because it's just a habit that I've always been in. Keeps it seamless, keeps it thoughtless. You don't have to sit here and think about what was on what. And So I'm just going to go ahead and start landing wires. So...
All right, so got the contactor swapped out. Looking good. Now I figure, seeing I've already got this off, I'm gonna go ahead and bench test the capacitor. Looks pretty old. So orange is going to common, purple, going to be hermetic, and then brown fan. Okay. The meter into capacitance. Check our hermetic twenty five point nine. We're going to check our fan. Try that again. Twenty five by five. Okay, so as you can see. It's supposed to be a 35 by 5, so that's low. So we're gonna go ahead and get a okay to replace that. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and start her up. I like to do check our inrush current. Amps. Hold down that for inrush. So 66 amps are in rush. That's good. And we'll go ahead and put this into kilowatts. And make sure the power factor and everything is good. Got the new capacitor in as well, forgot to mention that. So we're going to get our pressures. We're going to go ahead and check our um, pressures, volts and amps. Mine doesn't feel like it's getting that cold. Let's let it run for a sec. Measure quick open. I'm going to connect by meter. The line's feeling mighty warm. Mighty, mighty warm. This might have been all in vain. Let's catch our condenser units. Performance. Power factor 0.97. Locked in. Good with electrical for here.
Go ahead and check our pressures. We're shot. The machine is not going to be cooling at all. Outdoor probe. Okay, so yeah, this system's been running long enough. Uh, I'll go ahead and call it. It's an R22 system. It's got low charge. It's definitely using a TXV. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty much a wrap. 12 degree split, 38 degree superheat, 2 degree subcooling. So we're gonna go ahead and I don't know, see if they want to even go through with this repair as far as the contactor and the capacitor it's just I don't, know if, I don't know if they're gonna want to throw money into the system as it is so yeah we'll let you know what we find